back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited. Yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make shepherd's pie. This recipe right here is delicious. It's so easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make a Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. It'll never have my shepherd's pie before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. You will need some ground meat. Now, you could use a ground lamb, that's what it used to be made with, typically. Um, I believe when they first um, started making shepherd's pie, they would use a ground lamb meat or some type of lamb. Okay, so but what we are going to use is the 80-20 ground beef, and I have two pounds here. If you wanted to use like a ground chicken or a ground turkey, I feel like it would be delicious. You're going to need some mashed potatoes. Now, if you want to make, <coughs> excuse me, if you want to make homemade mashed potatoes, absolutely you can, but I found that if you go out and purchase these Bob Evans mashed potatoes that you can find um, over in the meat section, they are delicious. They're homemade mashed potatoes. They're seasoned to perfection, and that's what we're gonna use today, okay? You will need some cheese. We're gonna be using um, American cheese today, so that's what I wanna use. If you wanted to use the shredded cheese, absolutely you can. Like, have fun with this recipe because this recipe is definitely fun and anybody you make it for, they're gonna go nuts over the recipe because it is so tasty. You're gonna need some mixed veggies and the type of mixed veggies that I like to use, my mouth is salivating already, is the one that has um, peas and carrots and corn and green beans in it and these are frozen, okay? I don't suggest using the kind of vegetables that are in the can, they're a little bit too mushy and it just, it won't turn out right. You'll need a, a, a secret ingredient, which is some sugar, okay? And, and we'll talk about that during the video because that is a really interesting ingredient for this recipe. You will need some black pepper, and we have some chicken powder today. If you don't wanna use chicken powder, you could always use like a beef powder, okay? And then also you're gonna need some salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yeah, so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how easy it is to make this recipe right here. This recipe is a staple here at the Young's House. Like, I have to make it at least three times a month. It's easy, it's tasty, the kids love it, the adults love it. Anybody you feed this to, they are gonna really be wild with this recipe. So the first thing that we wanna do is I wanna chop down my ground beef just like so, because you don't want really big pieces, you know? You want for your ground meat to be nice and fine, okay? Really ground up. And I want you all to make sure, my pan is not hot yet, that's how I'm able to hold it. <laughs> um, I want you all to make sure that you drain the grease. Drain the unwanted grease, you don't need it, okay? Let's go in right away and season up our ground beef. All we really need to use is salt and pepper, okay? Just like so. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know, have you ever tried this? Or have you ever heard of it? A lot of people has never ever heard of this recipe. Um, this is something that I had as a child. And we didn't have it often, but when we had it, I would be so excited. Now, um, so when I grew up and I learned how to cook, I kind of played with the flavors and things like that, and I said, what can I put into this recipe to make it magnificent? Well, when I make the frozen vegetables, just if I make them as a side dish, I will always put sugar in them because I feel like it really brightens up the vegetables and makes them taste better. For some reason, that's just what I do. So one day, I decided to put my vegetables in with the, um, you know, the shepherd pie mixture, and I put sugar on top of the veggies. And then I put like a beef powder or a chicken powder on top. And then I started to get my layers in, which is my meat, 
my potatoes and cheese and everything, you stick that baby in the oven and your house is gonna smell amazing, number one. Number two, let it set up for a little bit, just a little bit before you serve it. You feed it to your family members and they are like, wow. Like, like you see, it's just a little tiny bit of ingredients, but it, this is a really wow factor because I've tried this recipe Without the sugar, it just wasn't the same. It, it just wasn't the same. But you put, am I trying to make it sweet? No, okay? A lot of people ask me that. They say, well, why do you put sugar in it? Do you need sugar? You don't need sugar. But if you decide, you know, that you don't want to use sugar, then it's not going to taste like mine. And if you want it to taste like mine to know what I'm tasting, use the sugar so you can see. And once you use it, listen here, I promise you're never going to make it the old way anymore, however you used to make it. And like I said, I highly suggest if you like turkey meat, you know, ground turkey or ground chicken, by all means use that, okay? All right, so I feel like when you're using the beef here, only thing you need to season the beef with, because this dish is so flavorful, you only need a little bit of salt and pepper. So what we're going to do is um, I feel like I want to put a little bit of onion in it. I'm going to go ahead and cut some onion and I'm going to do it off camera because I don't want to have to cry on camera. And I'll be right back, show you what we'll do next. Let's come in close and take a look at this gorgeous um, meat. And you can see that I did put a very small amount of onions in there. I feel like the onions will, re will really bring this dish to life. Okay, so we're cooking up our ground beef. We're gonna get it nice and chopped down a little bit more, get it golden brown, drain all of the oil just like so. I need to go fix my hair. Nobody, nobody was gonna tell me that my hair was looking like a whole mess underneath this hat. I'll be back in a second. Take a look at these two. We got Prince in the back and Polo in the front. <laughs> Say hi guys. So let's go ahead. Our ground beef and our onions is nice and golden brown. I've drained the oil and I put this into a 12 by nine uh, baking pan. So now let's go ahead and get started. After the beef is done or whatever type of meat you're gonna use, it's pretty simple from here. Everything comes together really quickly. I had to get my hair done. I know, I know, I, ha I had to admit it. I, I tried to come on here. <laughs> I tried to come on here and not do my hair and just throw the hat on. But I turned around, I looked in the mirror and I said, wait, okay, we're gonna fix this. So I had to moose my hair up a little bit, put a little bit of leave-in conditioner and get the curl back into it, you know, throw my hat back on. <laughs> because I love hats and hats love me <laughs> all right so now that is one 12 ounce package of veggies frozen and then we're using i don't know if we'll use another half let's see a half of that one okay how about that all right so now let's give it a nice mix just like so I'm sitting down because I tell you what, I am pretty tired. Yesterday I had the time of my life, like I had so much fun. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather outside. I decided to go to um, the market where they sell like flowers and landscaping stuff. And I did flowers um, all through the front yard and did a couple things in the backyard. And I, I mean, I got dirty, my hands was dirty. And um, I was laying on the cement <laughs> trying to get to one spot in my flower bed. I know my neighbors was looking at me like, what is this lady doing? But it's all done and it looks beautiful. So then after doing the flowers, because I was out there in the heat for hours. Um, after that, I decided to come in, take a quick shower. I threw some PJs on. Then I go in the back and just throw some ribs and bratwurst. And I put uh, baked beans on the grill. So I had a really productive <laughs> day yesterday and I was just loving, loving the sun. Okay, so now that we've mixed in our frozen veggies with the meat and the cooked onions. Now, this is my twist. Chicken powder or beef powder. If you don't have that, you can always use a ramen noodle seasoning packet, okay? So now that we have that on, go ahead and put you some salt, or not salt, sugar. And I'm gonna show you how much. That's one pinch, right? 
There's two pinches, and guess what? That will do the trick. We're gonna mix it up just like so in this manner, and guess what goes on next? The mashed potatoes, and the mashed potatoes are so delicious. I, can, I know I'm ranting and raving about these Bob Evans mashed potatoes, but I'm telling you what, you gotta taste them. Can, don't knock it until you tried it, because they are so good. You taste the butter, you taste the salt, you taste the milk, and that's, for me, when it comes to mashed potatoes, those are the three things that I need to taste. I need to taste real butter. I need to taste the salt, you know, and that, that's what I get with these potatoes. Okay, so now that we have this mixed up, just like so in this manner, I want to, I see the dog standing at the back, at the back door letting me know they have to use the restroom. I'm gonna take that out and I'll be right back. Right back. Back to business. Let's go ahead. Now that we have the um, bouillon mixed in with our sugar, let's go ahead and put some mashed potatoes on. Okay? Like I said, those of you that you love your mashed potatoes, you got time, you got time to make mashed potatoes, go ahead and make them homemade. Okay? All right. So now, ooh, wait. They, they smell so good. <laughs> and this is not sponsored. If this is not sponsored by Bob Evans, I promise you. <laughs> All right, look at that. And you just smear them on top. And you don't want to smear them so much to where, you know, your veggies and meat shine through. You just want to see nothing but those fluffy potatoes, just like so. All right, get your oven preheated to 350 degrees. Any kind of cheese you love. Listen here. If you like pepper jack cheese, you like mozzarella, whatever type of cheese you like, you like Gouda, put it on there, okay? Anytime I use an ingredient and you're not a fan of it, just kind of switch it up just a little bit. Like, don't alter the recipe, but switch, you know, use what cheese you like. If you don't like onions, take the onions out, but still try the recipe because you will love it. Okay, so now that we have our beautiful potatoes, nice and smeared through with still kind of some texture going through like that let's go ahead and don't make it lopsided make sure you make it even let's go ahead and then put on our cheese slices or here's what i'll do here's what i will do i feel like i want this to cook for a little bit before we put our cheese on okay so how about we do just that let's let this cook for a little bit and then like the last 10 minutes before this is done then we'll come in put the cheese on okay and then all we're waiting for is that cheese to get hot bubbly and melty i'm gonna come back say an amazing prayer you all are gonna get that first bite i'm gonna let you know exactly how long this took to cook in the oven on 350 degrees. You're gonna love this recipe, and it's simple. I did put some foil on top of my uh, shepherd's pie, just really loosely. You don't wanna make it too tight where you develop steam, okay? Very loosely, I'm only gonna keep that foil on there for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna take it off so that my uh, shepherd's pie does not get watery. 15 minutes has passed. I'm going to go ahead, go in the oven, take the foil off so it can continue to cook. And then, like I said, remember the last 10 minutes, we'll go in, put some cheese on. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead, get our cheese onto our shepherd's pie. I'm so excited. I just tasted it. <laughs> I, I couldn't help myself. I just tasted it. Delicious. All right. I'm, I'm using... The Kraft Singles American, Yellow American Cheese, because it is the creamiest. They tell you it's the creamiest. It is. And I love a creamy cheese. I will decide to use a creamy cheese over a cheese that has that beautiful um, cheesy pull. I, I, I like it creamy. Creamy for me all day. So today is kind of like, <laughs> I'm being lazy today. <laughs> sitting down but I tell you one thing I'm having the time of my life making this video I guess I'm tired from yesterday you know I had the time of my life I was busy the whole day and I think I'm pooped <laughs> I think I am really tired from yesterday I got like pants and socks on that don't match nothing I <laughs> nothing I have on right now 
<laughs> but you guys can't see it. You might have seen it when I got up. I have one like, um, they are black Adidas. They're kind of like sweatpants, but they kind of stop a little below your knee. And then I have on pink and gray, <laughs> pink and gray socks. So go figure, right? But I figure as long as the top <laughs> looks presentable, then I'm okay. Listen here, everybody. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. This is going into the oven. When it comes out, we're gonna slice it. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. And tomorrow, I'll be back to normal because I'll be well rested. So I figure what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some good sleep tonight. Get some good sleep tonight and I'll be rested up for you all tomorrow. Let's get this in the oven. Take a look at this, everybody. Beautiful, but listen here, stay tuned because I really want you all to see what it looks like when it's cut, but we gotta let it set for a minute. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for a beautiful meal today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style, homemade shepherd's pie. Make you some. And look down in the inside, my goodness. Look at that right there. Ooh, wait. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if I've already said, tell your family and friends and everybody you know about Gina Young, but tell them. Tell the whole world. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's dive in. <clears throat> I feel like I got a tickle in my throat. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Let's do this. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You gotta taste it. Don't knock it until you try it. Oh, it's so good. Look at that. Take a bite. It's hot. You see the steam. But I have to try. I have to try this. Mm. I'm gonna eat that whole plate once we go off video. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm catching all the flavors that I love. That amazing potatoes, that creamy cheese, these gorgeous fresh veggies, the sugar, the chicken powder. Mm, mm, mm. This right here will bring you life, you hear me? Mm, mm, mm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. <laughs>